All right, next problem. Nathan buys coffee and hot chocolate for his co-workers. Each cup of coffee costs $1.75, and each cup of hot chocolate costs $1.20. If he pays a total of $11.15 for seven cups, how many of each does he buy? Very similar to number one. Here, however, they sort of mix up the information a little bit. They don't give it to you as cleanly. But that doesn't matter. We can still solve. We can still find the system, and we can still solve for our coffee and chocolate. First off, coffee and hot chocolate, well, coffee and chocolate both begin with a C, so let's refer to coffee as C, and let's refer to hot chocolate as H. H is equal to hot chocolate. Okay. Very good. Next, let's reread the problem. Let's find the important information and exactly what it means. Each cup of coffee costs $1.75. So, cost of coffee is $1.75. Each cup of hot chocolate is $1.20. He paid a total of $11.15 for seven cups. That's all the information from the problem. This is a total, and this is also a total. All right, this is the price per hot chocolate, this is the price per coffee. Well, the total number of beverages purchased in total is seven, so the total number of coffees plus chocolates is equal to seven. The total number, the total, um, the total cost, eleven point one five. Well, that would be equal to a dollar seventy five times the number of cups of coffee bought, added to the cost of each hot chocolate, multiplied by the total number of hot chocolates H. And once again, we have a system here. A number of ways to solve a system. You can do it by a substitution. You can do it by a graphing. You can do it by elimination with matrix rows. We're going to do this one by substitution again. A little bit of a bias from me for that, but it, it never fails. So, let's see. What's the easiest way to solve this problem? Hmm. And you know, sometimes this first step can be the one that really bogs people down. Maybe you make it all the way here, you get your systems, and then you get stuck. Well, just do your best. If you're going to you make first make your choice how you're going to solve it, and then have that choice be determined by how easy it is to solve it by a substitution. Because if we sub just subtract h from both sides of this equation up here, we get c is equal to seven minus h. So this top equation becomes this: so c is equal to seven minus h. All right. Now. We know what C is, right? It's 7 minus H. Well, if we come over here, and I know you can't see that anymore, but if we come over here, take the original second equation, 1.75 times, that was 1.75 times, times C, which was coffee. C is equal to 7 minus H. Let's substitute that in. 1.75 times 7 minus h plus 1.2 h is equal to 11.75. I'm just going to put a line here, dividing out my work. All right. The thing to remember is that when you are solving these, once you actually substitute something in, what you'll end up with is an equation where you can solve for a single variable. And that's what you're looking for. If you substitute something in and you're not able to do that, it either means that you're dealing with uh, three variables in an equation set uh, or more complex things. Let's continue with this. 1.75 distributed in. 
1.75 times 7, well, that will give us 12.25. 1.75 times h is 1.75h plus 1.2h equals 11.75. Subtract 12.25 from both sides. We're going to end up with a negative number on the right-hand side. That's fine. No problems. Negative 1.1 is equal to negative 1.75h plus 1.2h. Well, that's just going to be negative 0.55h. And now we see the reason why it's not a big deal that we actually ended up with a negative number on this side, because we have a negative number on that side. We can just multiply both sides by negative 1. And then we just have a positive number, so I'm actually just going to get rid of those. All right. Now, 0.55h is equal to 1.1. Let's isolate this h. We're going to divide both sides by 0.55. And we come up with h is equal to 2, which means, in terms of our problem, two hot chocolates were purchased. H equals 2. Well, our original problem was what? It was C plus H equals 7. Well, if you purchase two hot chocolates, you had to have purchased five coffees. There are our solutions. C equals 5. H equals 2.